blades are sharp now and they're ready to be put back on the lawnmower. As I stated on the, the first time when we took the blades off, you want to make sure that you put the, assemble these blades correctly and, uh, and install them in the uh, proper sequence. Uh, one of the tricks while you're doing that on a Honda mower is uh, the grass kind of tells a story in the way the blades are supposed to fit. Uh, there's also little markings on the top of the blade as you can see where the blade, this top blade was mounted against the blade adapter. Then you can see the way that this blade's face meets against the second blade's face and that they're clean and they fit together. Now that both blades are together, simply index them so that the flat side points to the ground is to the ground and that the flights actually push the grass up towards the mower deck up and into the bagger. Set the blades in the lawnmower. And so the bolts and start to tighten the bolts by hand. The one thing you always want to remember is that you want to put the bolts in, your blade bolts in by hand first. You never want to use your tool to start the, the uh, bolt into the the adapter because then you can damage the threads of the bolt and the adapter and lose your integrity of keeping that blade secure to the lawnmower. Now as I stated the last time when you do use any impact on a lawnmower blade uh, what you do want to do is use a rag between you and the lawnmower blade or a thick welding type glove so that the blade does not cut through and, and cut your hand. So I just grab the blade with my rag and tighten up the bolts. Now our blade's on. At this point all the oil has been drained out of the lawnmower and we're ready to tip the lawnmower back up on end. But one last thing before we do that, the other things you want to do is double check the bottom of your lawnmower for any debris that may have gotten up on your lawnmower while you've been using it for the, throughout the year. And uh, one of the big places to look on any of your lawnmowers is near the transmission on the axle. Uh, as you can see on this lawnmower, there are, there are some strings that are wrapped up around the axle. Uh, you want to make sure that you remove any strings because if these strings get wound up too tight and uh, start to penetrate the bearings down here at the bottom, uh, what it'll do is is uh, damage the bearing, uh, dry the bearing out. Same thing with the transmission of those strings get in the transmission. Uh, being that this is a wet transmission or a hydrostatic transmission, it will actually drain, the oil will drain out, the transmission will become damaged. Uh, so you simply want to pull the, the strings off of the, of the axle. Other thing you want to do is look into the, the cavity where the belt is, make sure there aren't any obstructions, any sticks or twigs, uh, grass, uh, any of that debris that might be in there. If it is, simply reach in, pull it out, or use your, if you do have a compressor, you can blow it out with the air gun to make sure there are no obstructions in that belt cavity. Now that everything is clean underneath our mower deck, everything there is, is good. All the grass and the clippings is away from the bottom of the mower. Simply tip the lawnmower back over on its side.